Hey guys, The Rod Designs here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make this abstract HUD looking design here. And it's actually fairly and relatively simple, um, but not many people know about it or don't use this effect too much. But it's really cool. I learned this from uh, Beeple and one of his uh, speed arts that he did. I I looked like at the process what he did and he imported it into Cinema 4D and did his thing. But he's an amazing artist. If you don't know him, you should totally check him out. Uh, so let's just, just get right into it. So first off, um, what you want to do is just make uh, some squares or rectangles as well. So kind of be like really uh, creative with it. I guess like um, make it make each pattern different so essentially what you're gonna be doing is you're making a line and then this line is going to be translated into the object or shape that you apply it to and I'll show you how it's done uh, I'm just gonna keep just making something uh, Something that looks really cool. So I'm just gonna add like some squares here. I know they're not like uh, aligned, but it's tutorial for tutorial sake. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Then I'm gonna make uh, some more lines like this. Then I might make I'm gonna make something bigger. Maybe maybe um, use my pen tool and take this out and select select both. And then I'm going to use my shape builder tool and hold alt and get rid of these overlapping paths. Like I'm going to make something cool like this. And then I'm going to do one for the end here and reflect it horizontal, actually vertical uh, right here. Vertical. Yeah. Like that. I'm going to bring it down here like so. And then, uh, I'll, I'll bring in some, uh, some triangles here in order to get the triangles I picked on the start tool and as you're dragging up uh, you on your keyboard you can select you can press up on your keyboard and it will add more but if you press down it goes all the way down to a triangle so we, that's the easiest way how to get a triangle in Illustrator um, so I'm just gonna make some really cool like, abstract triangles um, I, I don't know what triangles would look like in this because I, I don't believe I've ever used them. I've also used this effect in, uh, actually let me, let me bring this up, um, in a few of my designs based in the future. Yeah, um, I used it in one of my, the artworks that I made for Attack the Music right here. As you can see I used this and I reflected it here and here. That's pretty much what I did. And uh, I think that's the only place I used it. Hold on, I'm checking right now. Yeah, I believe that's the only place I used it uh, as far as I remember. Oh no, I actually used it for another artwork that was used on Attack the Music. It's a record label, um, kind of Asaba's remixes. And I used them here and here. Did kind of the same thing, but uh, each one is actually very different. It, it kind of looks like it, but once you develop your style, it'll look really, really cool, depending on what you put on it, of course. Um, so I'm just gonna finish this right there. So I'm gonna uh, copy these, bring them down uh, here. Yeah, right, right about here, yeah. So, you know, you just be really uh, loose with it. Um, just make whatever. And I know it sounds like really bad for a tutorial. Oh, just make whatever. But um, that's pretty much like what you have to do for this. So I'm just making, just going super creative with it. Um, hold on. <clears throat> so just bring it out of the canvas, like, uh, vary everything so make sure I mean if you want you can have everything looking the same but for this I just 
don't want to make it look all the same. Let's just bring, I'm gonna bring like a block here, actually a few, few blocks. So I'm gonna bring a few of these blocks here and select them all and then I'm gonna use my shape builder and holding alt, I'm going to get rid of those overlapping paths. I'm gonna use uh, some of these triangles. Actually, um, yeah, so use some of these triangles. Get rid of this, select it all. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Get like that, so it doesn't look the same. Actually, I don't really like how uh, those look. I actually kind of like this. I really like this. And um, <clears throat> hold on, if I can keep this going, hold on. Like right, right about here, like that. Yeah, that looks really cool. And um, more lines, more lines, more lines more lines uh vary their sizes vary their uh, lengths and widths um i think that's pretty much it for this piece something like this i know it looks <clears throat> really weird and random but it should look relatively cool uh hold on i think this might be a little bit too much hold on yeah um I'm bring I'm bring some more squares. I like these squares. Uh, hold on, what if I can do? Yeah, like that. Kind of continue it like that. Just so like this. Yeah, I can do that. And then what you want to do once you have this your design finished, your line, you want to open up your brushes panel if you don't see it you go to window and you go to brushes and right here and then you select it all make sure you group it with control G and then just drag it in here and make sure you have it as a pattern brush actually no 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 sorry an art brush that way what you <clears throat> whatever shape or object or even brush you apply it to it's going to look like that I'll show you what I mean so you can apply it to a actual brush. Now I'm going to paint like that, and I got my line. Uh, if I paint it straight down, I get that. I can just make a swirl like that. It looks really bad, but you get the idea, right? Now I'm going to get a circle, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to align this, and make sure you, you turn your fill off. I'm gonna make this a little smaller, like that, and then I'm actually going to select this as our stroke. Bam! And then actually I want to turn my stroke down to 0.25. Actually no, I'm going to double click on this, I'm going to edit it, and make sure you have preview set on. And uh, yeah, you can have your scale um, dif different. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can scale proportionally, or you can scale to fit stroke length. Uh, what looks cooler? Uh, stretch to fit uh, normal. This looks really cool. And then you apply it to strokes. This looks really cool, right? And then in order to get like the physical shape, you click on it and you go to object, path, and outline stroke. And now these are actual physical items that you made. And that's pretty much it. And then for uh, you can apply a gradient to it, which is what I did and do that or um, let's just pick blue like this blue <clears throat> and like an orange Yeah, I don't like this blue hold on That looks a little better or uh, my, my all-time favorite colors are like a still Pink a little pink and um, some blue Like that and that's pretty much it and um, you can also apply this uh, line to other shapes like I said before so let's get a star an actual uh, st star wow. there you go star then I'm gonna select this turn my fill off but uh, select this go to my brushes and this looks really bad 
But once you uh, go to preview and then you change everything, uh, mm, that looks better, a whole lot better. We can uh, stretch to fit guides. Uh, nope, uh, this, flip across, flip across, flip across. This looks fine. You know, you just gotta play around. Oh, snap. I did not save it. But you have to play around pretty much with the options. That's where the creative freedom comes in. And then I go to object path. Uh, what did I do? Uh, object path and outline stroke. And these are actual physical objects and shapes that you just made. And then you apply apply gradient to it. And it looks super cool. And if we like rotate it, uh, something something like this. It's looks really cool. Kind of pentagram e. <laughs> I didn't. Want, I didn't mean for it to go like that. Uh, let's go back to regular star like that. Looks really cool. And let's do this once more for like a hexagon here. Uh, you pretty much get the idea. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, they are greatly appreciated. I try. To I try to read every single comment. And I see something like this. This looks really cool by itself, just like that. And then object, path, outline, stroke. So this also has been like a tutorial inside a tutorial inside a tutorial, tutorial section. Because I've taught you other things on top of just this actual effect. So like that. Bam, you have your you have your design right there. We can use this for anything. Let's say we like select this. And then we make it, uh, we we duplicate it, and then we bring it in, and then we rotate it. Like that, bam! You have you have your new cover art for your next album, right there, bam! That's it. Uh, this has been Tour by the Ride Designs. Thank you all for watching every single day. Well, every two days is my schedule, but really, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um, see ya.